Hello everybody, I am Dr. P.P. Bose, I am a senior consultant pulmonologist working in the southern part of New Delhi. Dear friends, I am the founder of SARS Foundation, a foundation working on respiratory and related illnesses. I am associated with major corporate hospitals like National Heart Institute, Fortis Hospital and Mulchin Hospital. I must say something very important related to our morbidity and mortality for our quality of life and the most important thing our respiratory health. As you all perhaps agree, this is the most difficult times of the planet as far as the respirable particles are concerned. In the post-COVID scenario, the respirable particles can cause immense damage to your lung health. The study says that the biggest reason for this comorbidity is a rising level of particulate pollution in the air. As you all must be know, knowing that the tiny particles which, is, which, which get tindalized, which floats around in the air, they are called particulate pollution. They are very tiny. And tiny in the sense they are as small as 2.5 micron. They are respirable. They can get into your respiratory system from the nasal passage to the back of your nose called the sinus and finally can settle in the throat and finally can go into the lungs. These particulate pollutions are very dangerous. And the study says in this part of the world, the developing world, where there is a lot of building materials, a lot of combustion activities, a lot of bioaerosol, and these activities can make the air quality bad to worse, especially during changing weather. Now, what happens during changing weather? When the quality of air goes down because of the humidity and other things, this particulate pollution, they come down. So that means when they come down at the level of your nose, you respire more. And this is what we call load versus capacity. And this is what you call, also call the exposure burden. When the air quality becomes bad during changing time, especially in the autumn time, when the quality of little, uh, air becomes a little heavier and coupled with other activities, a little smoggy weather, this particulate pollution get into your nose, eyes, upper respiratory finally can go into the lungs and it can cause tremendous amount of lung issues. These tiny particles are which are invisible, they can create havoc. And when we talk of this kind of particulate matter, which is so tiny, there are two types of effects. One is the immediate effects and the long-term effects. Now, what are the immediate effects? When you get repeatedly exposed to this high load of particulate pollution, the first level is that nose gets exposed. So inflammation of nose can allergic rhinitis. The rhinitis is a big problem. One of the commonest problems we handle in clinical practice is allergic rhinitis. It's a common, everybody is sneezing, sniffing, and you know, runny nose. This is a very common problem. And this is a, you know, 80% of our clinical practice, we get rhinosinusitis. But when you are continuously exposed to particulate pollution for years, a kind of an asthma-like situation, what you call airway inflammatory disease or what you call asthmatic disease, and finally you can present like an asthma. This is called small airway disease because our tiny airways get inflamed. This is called inflammatory airway disease and they behave like an asthma and they're very difficult. And especially those who are already an asthmatic, those who are having a chronic lung disease, they get more frequent attacks. So long-term exposure to the particulate matters can give you permanent changes in your lungs and finally it becomes very difficult to take care of the lungs and it has been said that continuous exposure to this particulate pollution can reduce your longevity they say one of the studies says that you can your your age expectancy can be reduced as uh, by almost nine to ten years if you are continuously exposed to this particulate pollution so there's a tremendous amount of uh, load on your cardiovascular and a cardiorespiratory system and this car this affects your quality of life and causes early morbidity and mortality. So dear friends, this particulate pollution has got all ramifications from acute to chronic diseases to life expectancy. And this particulate pollution is a major concern, not only from outdoor point of view, the main concern is an indoor pollution. Now what is indoor pollution? Indoor pollution is a state of situation in the air quality when the quality of air gets you know, degraded by different chemicals and particulate pollutions. And the study says, as you must be, may not be aware of it, that indoor pollution is much more dangerous than outdoor pollution because indoor pollution is 10 times more than outdoor pollution. And moreover, since we are confined in a space and most of the houses are like little sick buildings, so we are not getting that kind of circulation of air. So the degree of exposure burden, which I said, that degree of injury or degree of exposure to your respiratory system is much more in indoor situation. 
and that's why we said that indoor pollution is much more dangerous than outdoor pollution because at a fixed uh, area you're getting exposed to certain amount of particulate pollution and this particulate pollution in indoor not only what what we are getting from the outdoor because of the combustion and building materials and other stuff but indoor we have got another important areas as i mentioned the virus or the molds the dust mites and other respirable particles the viruses and the spores and all they can make the situation quite um, awkward and quite worrisome so particulate pollution in indo uh, indo pollution is a tremendous amount of concern and as a as a pulmonologist and as a respiratory care physicians and we give tremendous amount of importance to this particulate pollution in indoor situations and as i mentioned people in the extremes of age groups children elderly people those who have chronic lung diseases like asthma and chronic bronchitis those who have uh, cardiovascular diseases like hypertension and heart diseases those who are diabetic they're tremendous amount of uh, vulnerable to this kind of particulate pollution even the study says not only it affects your respiratory and cardiovascular even the recently they say the people the children who are born in this kind of situations they are they are born little stunted because if your lung health gets affected so your 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 oxygen you know delivery system also get affected so it has been found the children which are born these days are little more stunted in the developing countries and and particulate pollution plays a very important role so indoor pollution is a new new uh, serious chapter which we are talking as an as a pulmonologist and it's very important that we should somehow reduce the indoor pollution and indoor pollution can be reduced uh, by so many techniques but one very important thing uh, is is what you call hepa filters so these are the most important thing which can really reduce your indoor uh, uh, particulate pollution and this is so effective that it can take care of your particulate pollution as much as 99.7% nearly 100% and it can not only take care of 2 to 2.5 microns even as tiny as 0.3 micron these hepa particles they can take care of it that means the viruses and true sense the viruses and the spores which are the deadly ones even this hepa purifiers can take care of this and this can really improve the quality of life and this is the uh, way forward this hepa filters are Uh, used everywhere in our clinical practice, in our hospitals, in our intensive care, in our rooms, in hospitals, even our clinics, we are regularly using these HEPA filters. So use HEPA purifier to reduce your indoor pollution, and especially in metropolis and and the suburban areas. And I'm sure uh, you will breathe better. Thank you.